We lost most of the cattle, but we still have a lot of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor pit. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Man. What's Stop. that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. Well, ten, actually, if you count the new guy. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, it's great. Everything helps. Mom's been running the dairy for Everything as helps. long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. The fuck? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always fucking the bandits. Who? Oh, Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Oh, man, you're always pissing at me. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. Oh. And you guys would keep it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Well, he was being kind of a bitch. So I don't blame that dude for killing him. world out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. St. John's. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Had a guy. How the fuck does she know? Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we were we together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll <coughs> make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Holy Some bread. Holy. What? Sorry. Was that some Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow was sick? 
Well, Chief. We have a vet, and we can bring her here. And we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, Mama, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole crew could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd okay. be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone from the trip back here? I'd want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come. Take this. All right. See you later. So Doug is actually pretty oh, cool. Link. I still prefer oh, Carly though. Rest. Get trying to get in, if you know what I mean. Help securing the perimeter. <clears throat> problem. Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right... This might turn out to be a place we can stay. Why are they so hype about that fence? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. <clears throat> Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. A broken <laughs> swing? Sounds like a decent <laughs> a broken idea. swing? What the fuck? Oh man, they have a broken swing. It's the devil's playground. <laughs> Fucking broken swing. Huh? That's not a big deal at all. The fuck am I looking at? Is that the broken swing? The fence doesn't even look that. I don't even know. Too bad it's broken. I bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. <laughs> Looks like it just needs a new board for the sea and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can put our weight around here. It's a swing. It's not big of a deal. It's a goddamn swing. Sure they can have fun on it, but uh, it's a swing, man. Alright, let me talk to Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. Now, I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but... We really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people to be invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds okay. Stay attentive. You never know. 